Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some so fun. What I'm wanting to do is uh, we're going to, uh, I've got a, a small project, five pieces, and uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, uh, and I would use normally use my mill, except that it's set up for another project. And that, that project isn't going to come down for a couple of three or four days and and my customer wants to get this out pretty quick so uh, what um, Vivor or Vevor I'm not sure how it's pronounced even now uh, sent me a uh, milling table for my grill press and uh, we're gonna ha review that and see what it looks like and give it a try and well let's just do it so we're going to drop the table down just a little bit oh man this thing weighs a ton and i hope it isn't that big but if it is well we'll figure it out I'm gonna go get a knife. I don't think I need a lathe bit. Come on. There we go. And by the way, uh, in the description down below here is uh, all the information about Vevor or Vivor. And, uh, uh, and how you could purchase one of these if you wanted to. Uh, let's see what we got. Oh, it looks just about perfect. And right off the right out the gate, I'm happy because the handle is steel rather than plastic, which is how most of these things come. Uh, let's see if we can get this thing out. I'm gonna drag this back off of the table. just about right for that table. There it goes. Not exactly a tight fit. But I'm not sure that it's necessary anyhow. Put the nut on, and I'm guessing we're we're gonna be happy. All right, so now we screw the handle in, and I know it goes in somehow. There we go. Yeah, a little junky, but you know, it's functional. Now, our next handle. We'll get our key in there. I had to go make up a key.
Okay, this side uh, is a little bit better, not much actually. <coughs> But it will go back and forth. Let's see if we can find a center here. We need to get a couple of nuts or bolts and nuts in here. Let's see if, uh, if it'll work on the other side. Mm, not quite. Okay, come this way. Nope. More like that way. Then we might be able to get something. We put use a smaller bolt. Yeah. All right. Uh, we'll be back. All right. So we're gonna drop. Uh, a uh, big fender washer and a 5 16 bolt down this hole here down that slot another fender washer and a 5 16 behind it and it just barely reaches which is fine Well, now that the nut has tightened, can you see that? Let's swing it over a bit. Now that the nut's tightened, this whole thing is a little more secure. So it looks pretty good. Now, the downside, of course, is you got this really nice platform, but nothing to grab onto. And, uh, you know dropping that in there this is mostly how I would use this this uh, drill is just to hang on to this and and pull down on it and that would be good enough but in this particular project we're going to need to lock it down so we need some t-nuts and clamps and it just so turns out I may have the right t-nuts and once again, yeah, here we go. Look at that. Now the question is, is will they fit? No, of course not. <laughs> They're just a little bit too wide. Let's see if maybe... Ah, here's some. Here's one. Here's two. For some reason, I got two, four big ones and four small ones, which is just fine. So, we're going to go ahead and come up with our bracket that we need to drill. And then we come in and, and um, hold, that, hold them down. Something like that. Okay, so we've got our clamps. Uh, we're going to come in with a couple of chips behind this so that I don't dig into my table. Because I'm guessing the table's not that secure or not that hard a material. Okay, there's, there's one clamp. Well, hell's bells, 
that COVID just knocks me out. I mean, I went down below to the house to uh, just to get something, and I took a crash onto the bed, and that was it, man. I was out, and it's now what, almost two o'clock in the afternoon, three hours later, and uh, so I'm back. <laughs> For how long, I'm not sure, but uh, uh, I feel fine. It's just like I have no stamina. So uh, we're going to get back to this and play with this a little bit until we get it right. Okay. Okay, well, hopefully you can see that. We're going to just kind of go back and forth. Oops. We got everything tight. We got everything fairly square. I mean, I don't think you can get too square on this. But we're, th we're within a few thousands. Well, it's definitely a bare bones kind of deal because uh, they're expecting you to adjust the Gibbs, which isn't a bad deal. I mean, hey, Gibbs are fairly easy to deal with as long as they're there. So far I'm not feeling anything. There we go. Just snug them down. Okay, there's our gib adjustments for the bottom. Okay, now we're gonna have to look down and figure out what these mean. They're just barely there. Three to zero to three, to two, to one, yep. Uh, so we do have increments on the, on the uh, handles themselves, which isn't bad. Uh, so let's go ahead and work with that a bit. and figure out how much each one of these increments and you probably can't see again well, I can see a little bit let's bring okay. in okay I'm not sure you're gonna be able to see everything at one time uh, but it's a little close in here but uh, the dial indicators back here I'm almost positive you're not gonna see that but we've got it set on zero and we're gonna roll our table back until we figure out how many thousands each of these little increments is. So, all right, we're gonna move, and interestingly enough, there's not a notch in the casting. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get in here and make a notch. Okay, let's come down on this casting and uh, slam a little notch into it. There we go. That's pretty good. And we're gonna go forward one more notch and it looks like it's about three thousandths per notch. There's one more notch that should be six. 
it's seven. There's one more notch. That should be. So that's three notches is ten thousandths. Jesus. How am I supposed to work with that? Huh. Okay. Well, I think what we're going to have to do is, uh, if we want to be accurate in a given moment, we're just going to have to work with uh, an indicator hooked up to it. Okay, we've got both ind indicators hooked up and sitting on somewhat zero. And remember, this is not a critical measurement that we're trying to accomplish here, but something close, plus or minus 10. I got a bit of leeway on this. So, we're square, we're uh, gibbed, we're indicated, turn our light on, you can see that. Now let's just rotate a little bit over to the vise and put our first piece in. Now what we have to do is come up with a a way to uh, put a stop on this uh, and we'll be okay, back. We got again. our stop. We'll go ahead and snug this down. Bring the stop up against that. Uh, let's bring this down a little bit. to there and I think we got it now we need to find center within mm, five or so thousands All right, that gets us a quarter inch hole, 500 thousandths in. <clears throat> now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fifty. And we started a little bit, uh, a little bit early, so we're going to end a little early. All right, bring it back. All right, let's check it. So we're going for five hundred thousandths for one. And that looks pretty good. 
and then 750 for another so that would be 1 250 and that's right on the money okay well right on the money plus or minus 10,000 so I have plenty of room there to okay. play around with. Uh, pretty good little table for what it is uh, you know I wouldn't go in and uh, try to do single digit uh, accurate um, cuts but uh, for drilling holes within a certain amount uh, I think we're gonna be f just fine um, and we got uh, within within five or ten thousandths of where we wanted to be to to cut these these little spacers that this guy wants so uh, hey this is Nick Collier checking out just coming off of COVID I'm surprised I even made it this far.